Okay, so you can hear Marley freaking out. Ah, I'm so excited. Gilmore Girls is back. And it's great. Well, it's going to be great. And we're about to watch it. <laughs> we can see who the more mature one is. No. Shut uh, up, you're just as excited <laughs> as I am. I am honestly so excited. And, like, we have our Gilmore Girls style pizza. Um, which Yum. is, it was called the USA. It's literally, like, sausage and French fries on a margarita pizza. There Italian... isn't actually pizza like this in the US, just so you know. Like, this is, it's called the USA, but it's not actually served in the USA. That being said, I don't think Italians' impressions of Americans are too far off. Mm. But true, it is a good pizza. <laughs> um, yeah, Molly's already had a slice, so. Mm -hmm. uh, we have so many snacks that I'll show you later. But for now, we're about to start. Ciao! So my day today either can be looked at as a bad day or a good story. Um, so I'm going to make it a good story. It started off really well. So last night, um, as the last vlog saw, Molly came over. We watched all um, the new episodes of the Gilmore Girls revival, which was absolutely incredible. Um, went to sleep, got up, did all of that stuff, etc. However, during that time, at 12... 20 a.m. we got an email from some of the students who were supposed to have already organized this telling us to organize a one minute opening statement with our team for today. Yes, that class starts at 11.30 so we were given less than 24 hours notice, sorry 24, less than 12 hours notice on an assignment that is actually marked and graded. And I was not impressed. So, anyway, while I was furious, along with a lot of other students, I was going to let it slide. And then I got up, I got dressed, I was feeling good, my metro card wouldn't work, so then by the time that I got down onto the platform, the doors were shutting in my face, and I had to wait for the next metro. Which annoyed me a lot, I will admit, but, you know, I did that. Anyway. And then walked up to the classroom. And I normally sit in the back left hand corner with Christina who is also my teammate. So I was like, I'll ask Helena to move up to us because we have to all sit in teams for this role play exercise. So she was like, yeah, I can do that. As we went to sit down, one of the guys who was supposed to be or like organizing it all and all that was like, oh, can you sit in the front please because we have the role play today. Uh, no. He's like, can you sit in the front? You have to sit with your teams. And I was like, okay, well, not everyone's going to sit in the, be able to fit in the front rows, but I'll move forward. Like, I'll, I know I'm sitting with my teams. He's like, yeah, because it's the role, didn't you know it's the role player today? And I was like, oh, I did. You sent the information at 12.30 a.m. And then he goes, cut the BS. And I was like, oh, hell no. Like, no one is going to tell me not to get angry at the fact that they didn't organize an assignment where we're going to be marked. So I was like, excuse me, no, this is not my problem. You should have been organizing it. This was an assignment that we're all being graded on that you gave us because you couldn't get like everything organized, gave us less than 12 hours notice, which is not fair on anyone. And he was like, oh, and gave me a look and walked away. But there was no way that I was going to let some person who couldn't accept his own mistakes then blame it on me. So, I mean, that happened. And then the role play went fine. Um, we all, like, all the actual countries worked well together and stuff. It was just the people who were supposed to be organising it, which were students. Um, but yeah. And then I had to go do my permit of stay. So I went to the police station, and this was at like 1.30, and they were like, no, come back at 3pm. So I was like, mm, okay. Went home, made pasta, um, had lunch, went back at 3pm. Got a ticket, I was there a little bit early even. Got seen at probably about, um, sorry, I'm just checking the time. That's not the right time. Yeah. Sorry, um, that confused me for a second there. 
Um, I didn't realise my watch was still on UK time, not, um, other time. Anyway, so, I waited for a while, got my ticket at about, like, 20 past 3, 3.30. They called my number and I went up, and then, while they were talking to me, they were like, oh, so, like, when are you leaving, what's going on? And so they were like, oh, okay. Go outside, wait for 20 minutes, and we'll call you again. So I waited for a little bit over 20 minutes. At 4pm I got called back in. And they're like, yeah, so... Um, normally we'd give you like an electronic card, however the electronic card um, won't come in time when you're doing, because you were given a weirdly like late appointment, etc. So we need to give you a piece of paper. And I was like, okay, that's fine. I don't mind having a piece of paper instead of, like, an electronic card. I'm like, yeah, but our branch can't give out pieces of paper. Only the central police branch can. So you need to go there. So can you leave your phone number? And I'll call you when they can give you an appointment to go there. And I was like, oh, okay. Also, can you come back tomorrow morning at 9 a.m.? so that we can give you a stamp, so that you can enter the building, so that they know that you've tried to go to your local police branch. And I was like, um, sure, because I want to be able to, like, stay in the country. So now I have to go back to the police station at 9am to get another, sorry, to get a, another piece of paper to go to another police station to get a piece of paper to stay in the country. Italian bureaucracy at its finest. And that's been my day. I hope yours is going better. Um, but hey, at least I got a pretty exciting story out of it. Um, anyway, yeah. Ciao! So, we're here in my apartment with gelato. Which is happy, but we're also sad. Because today is the last day that the gelato shop next to my house is going to be open. And like... We were we friends with the owner and everything! I don't even- I'm about to tear up! I she- know. Oh, she let me practice my Italian and I like went there and talked to her anytime I was feeling like sad and- She waved and at us when we walked past the door. Every single time every we walked time, past the door. Even if we didn't go in, she would wave at us. And like, oh, her name's Erica by the way, and literally when we mm. went down, she and got like our gelato. She was like about to burst into tears, and we were about to burst into tears. And she's like blowing us kisses. Yeah, we like, were walking out the door, and she's like blowing us kisses and thanking us for everything. And I thought she was gonna lose it, and so I almost lost it. <laughs> I, I'm about to. Still <laughs> I know lose I'm it. still about to lose it. Oh, the only but, thing keeping it together is this gelato. <laughs> yeah. Well, we got four scoops um, each. Mm -hmm. You got um, chocolate and salted pistachio, mm -hmm. and I got chocolate, almond, and a double scoop of the Nutella. And yeah, I guess we just eat our gelato. Now. It's just so sad. I don't know when I have to now find a new like where gelato do we place. where do we go from here? And you don't understand. Molly travels half an hour to come to my gelato place. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I guess we're going for now. We're really gonna miss it. And Erica. I'm gonna miss and Erica a lot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ciao. Being a good day, I went to Betty's Tea Rooms again and I had an Eggs Benedict and a freshly squeezed.